Hey guys, this is Casey from Casey Builder Things, and today I'm bringing you my Hizak Master Grade Gundam, as you see right here. Um, it is special. Sorry. It's special in the sense that um, I customized it, as in, uh, originally it, it was green and black, but I decided to do a custom color. I used uh, a like a army green, like camo green type deal, and a light green, and I also used titanium gold, and I made a special gun metal. Actually, no, I take that back. I didn't make it. I uh, was very lucky when I did this gun metal paint that I used that it turned to be this, as you see, this shiny bit. Um. So it's awesome. Yes, I know some of the rubber pieces are actually wearing off. Um, I don't know how to fix that. Um, next one I do, I will probably try to fix it. I have to bend it and paint it that way, I was told. But uh, what makes this so special is that, um, actually, it's a funny story. Um, a week after I painted this, right, they announced... Bandai announced one of the premium Bandais are going to be the Master Grade Hyzact from Unicorn Gundam series. And it's funny because it's this exact same color. Like, no joke. I did this before they announced it. Um, I posted it on my Facebook page and all that. The difference between mine and theirs is his arm right here. If you can see this part right here. That is going to be black, and it's going to have, like, the white markings as the uh, Sinju, Sinju has. Um, it's a great Gundam. It's a fun build. Um, it's a Neo Zeon suit. So it's basically, like, it came from the uh, you, um, Zeta series. So, like, it takes the Federation's easiness of the cockpit and stuff, mix it with the Zaku's head style and armor and stuff so and it's basically easier to uh uh pilot and stuff so like the whole thing about this is it's the upgraded version of a uh, zaku so it's a hybrid zaku basically it has movable frames that's what you see on the bottom in this part up here um titan the titans used it exclusively actually and then when it went to uh, Unicorn Series, the Neo Zons, like the Neo Zeons used it, like the sleeves used it. So this is the sleeves, uh, basic color. So yeah, I thought it was cool. Um, I was actually kind of happy when I found out that they uh, did that. I thought it was pretty cool that I uh, actually came up with the color scheme before Bandai did. I mean, that's awesome. So yeah, um, it comes with some weapons. I left the weapons at the place I had it at to be uh, shown. So I have to go pick them up. It comes with a gun, two guns, and a battle axe, and a beam axe. So yeah, so this is my part of the thing. I wanted to guys show you this. Um, so yeah, so this has been a real blast to build. I highly recommend you getting one. You could do any color scheme you want with it. The rubber tubing might give you a hard time with it. It comes yellow, but you, as you can see, I can paint it different colors. As long as you don't move it too much or play with it, it's fine. Um, what else? I uh, give this Gundam on a scale of 1 to 10. I give it a 8.5 because it was my first Xeon type deal mobile suit I built. Awesome build. Um, not too difficult. It's great. It's fun. Um, as you can see, I did some shading right there. Basically, I went around the outside and stuff. Where there was like indentation, I did shadowing effects on it. So that brought it up. Um, it's it's uh, good. It's a great build. You can pose it. The downfalls on it that I have with it is the fact that I can't pose the hands. It's not posable hands. That's my only feedback on it. Um, and the tubing's come out. But other than that, great build. So, 
Um, this has been Casey. Again, I'm Casey. I can't wait to build some more and show you guys some more stuff and review some more stuff. So, um, if you like this, please leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook at Casey's Building Things. Building Things. Um, yeah. And, uh, it's a great build. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice morning.